Hi, everybody. It's Julia, your trusted travel expert, helping you find that je ne sais quoi wherever you are in the world. And today I am continuing my sort of series on the differences between the US and Europe. Again, this is focused mostly on France, although there are similarities across Europe. And today I am talking specifically about dining. I've done hotels previously and I've done sort of daily life previously, but today we're talking about how we eat and there are some big differences that you should be aware of. I'm gonna go kind of chronologically through the day and talk about some of the main differences and give you some examples of what the French eat. So for breakfast, it is not a big spread of bacon, eggs, and you know, like an English breakfast with all different kinds of the plate, no. French people generally, if they are, you know, off to the office, they will pop into their nearby tabac or cafe and will stand at the bar and order an express, an espresso, and a croissant or their pastry of choice. There are lots of, you know, pain au chocolat, pain au raisin, pain au monde. There are lots of different pastries or a brioche bun or something like that, whatever it is. But they generally will just have a quick coffee and a croissant and they will eat it standing up. And that is why if you go into a cafe at breakfast time, there you may see two different prices or you may just get charged differently than you expect because there's one price for standing at the counter and there's another price for sitting at the table and making a waiter come and bring you your whatever it is, your, your beverage and um, pastry. Now, hotels are obviously a little bit differently because they are catering, not they're catering to the leisure traveler usually. And in most boutique hotels, a breakfast is included and it will be generally a cold continental buffet. I won't, wouldn't even really call it buffet. Lot, all different kinds of breads that you could possibly want, bread and butter, pastries, like I said. Um, they will have cold cuts and sliced like deli cheese, which is sort of different. We don't really eat that. And they may have a little bit of fruit, maybe some fresh squeezed fruit juice, obviously coffees, any kind of coffee you could want. Um, they may have like a boiled egg or granola and yogurt. They may have that laid out, but they're not going to generally have like hot dishes, like chafing dishes with like scrambled eggs um, and bacon and sausage and pancakes and waffles and all that good stuff. If it's a big Western chain hotel or a big, bigger hotel that caters to a lot of Western tourists, then maybe they'll have, you know, some eggs and bacon or something like that. But generally it's going to be more breads, fruits, cheeses, that kind of a thing. Then at lunch, they very, very rarely eat lunch. Well, they never eat on the go. Even if they take lunch to go, you know, like teenagers are like, there are McDonald's and fast food. They have quick there. In, in France, but um, and they are popular, but generally people will order it and sit down and, and eat it at a table there. That's why they seem to always be so crowded. There are also bakeries will have um, uh, refrigerated display cases full of pre-made sandwiches on baguettes. So you can get a baguette with ham and cheese is the, the normal, um, butter and cheese or butter and ham. Uh, they're all gonna have butter on them, tuna, uh, maybe like a chicken salad -y kind of thing, but it's very different than our chicken salad, a caprese salad kind of baguette. And those are generally cold and you just grab one and go, but you never eat it on the go. You take it back to your office. Maybe you go to a picnic if you're a tourist, but generally French people, especially eat, sit down and eat a full lunch and they eat multiple course lunches. Now, Three courses is probably like rare. It's more likely two courses, but it is usually two different courses. And I'm not talking about like a soup and a salad or like a half sandwich and a soup. Um, th this is a soup. And then the salad part, salads are not a salad, like an entree salad, a main salad. On, we'll get into that. A main salad is going to be a big composed meal with lots of different vegetables and protein on it, like a salad niçoise. As you think about it, it has tuna, eggs, you know, cornichon, olives. It has all kinds of stuff in the salad. Um, and you will see people eat that for lunch, but you also see people eat a big old omelet for lunch. They make huge, delicious omelets that are fluffy and delicious. Uh, or roast, like a half roast chicken and fries. That was always my favorite lunch. Um, but you will generally have two courses and it could also be like an omelet and a dessert that can happen quite easily as well 
but they do sit and enjoy a multiple course lunch, even if they're on a work break, and they will have wine often with lunch. That That is not a rarity and that is not something to be surprised by. Uh, definitely, you know, a glass, of wine, a glass of wine with lunch, even on an office break, is totally acceptable. Now, then dinner comes along, and dinner comes along much later than we are used to. Uh, they do not typically start eating until after after 7.30, it's, and it depends on where you are. Um, you know, eight is probably fairly average for a starting dinner time, especially in cities or Northern France. Once you get closer to the Mediterranean, especially if you get down into Spain, Spain they eat super, super late, like 10 p.m. Uh, but in, in the Mediterranean of France, you know, nine is not going to be that late for dinner or it's going to be pretty average for dinner. So that's the first thing is they eat much later. The second thing is that they, they linger, they take their time. You know, when you sit down, you're not going to order uh, right off the bat. You may order an aperitif and chat and settle in and catch up before you look at the menu and start figuring out what you're going to eat. Second thing is that you are going to, generally they have three or more courses for dinner. You know, a, a pre-fix or a fixed price menu is very typical for at least three, four or five courses. And you know, those, so you can have any different variety. The vocabulary difference that I don't want to make you aware of is that entree, which entree in American is the main, your main dish, right? But entree is the the starter that's what you begin with that is your entrance into the meal and then plat principal or, or something like that um they often menus will be separated by uh fish meat chicken pasta you know it will have so it's it's less like sort of your main meals um your main plot although it does have plat principal and price prefix menus will often be you choose one of these two one of these three and one of these three you know, of each course. That's the way the, the fixed price menus work. The reason that they can eat so many courses is that they eat much smaller portions. So even though you're eating five courses or something like that, you're gonna have, you know, the entree will be a bite or two. It'll be very small, you know, two or three shrimps or, you know, just much more delicate. And like when you get your main meal, if you get a protein, generally that's going to be a very delicate, small piece of fish, small serving, a small, like, you know, fist size amount of chicken or beef, um, a very small amount of vegetables and potato and a nice sauce on top. And so because they eat smaller portions and they have lots of courses, they linger. The, the, one of the biggest differences in eating in France versus the U.S. is the way the waiters are paid, right? In the U.S., you're all about turnover and you're all about volume if you're the waiter because the more people you can get sat in your section, the more money you make because you get more tips, right? It's not the way it works. In France, it's, it's not about volume and it's not about rushing and filling the restaurant and turning the restaurant over. It is about enjoying a, an experience with your friends or loved ones, whoever you're eating with. And so the service is going to be different because they're not expecting tips. They're not working for tips. So they're not going to be flitting by your table every five minutes asking you if you need something else or anything like that. No, like I said, you know, when they come up to you, you know, if you're not ready to order, they'll leave. <laughs> so, you know, that's why a lot of times people will just order a drink first and they're not going to bring water to your table. You have to ask for a bottle of water or something like that. And then once you order, they will like leave you alone. The food can come quickly. So it's not that it's the, that is slow generally if you're at a good restaurant. So the, your courses can kind of come quickly, but the waiter is just not checking in on you all the time because that is your time to talk and enjoy the food and enjoy the atmosphere. And so once you're done with your dessert, because they almost always end with a dessert or something sweet, cheese can be the dessert. A cheese course is usually at the end of the meal. Uh, they, you, they won't just bring you the check. Sometimes they will. But generally, they wait for you to tell them that you're done. So you have to, you know, call the waiter over. And there's no, you know, garçon. That means boy. And nobody does that anymore. I think that that's pretty obvious. You just say, excusez-moi, or pardon, or you can say, l'addition. You can make the little sign from across the wind. Oh, hello, l'addition. 
and they'll bring you the check. And again, I mentioned in the last one is they will bring you, generally, if you're gonna pay with a card, they have the little payment thing there. So when that's why, like when you bring a check, you're, you're ready to walk out the door, basically. Uh, so those are some of the big differences in eating in France versus the US. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you next week, bye.